Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, so what we're doing today is a 20 minute calorie shred fun. We're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do some funky little moves to get our whole body moving and shaking and burning some calories. I have one dumbbell, my 10 pound dumbbell. So kind of light, just a little bit of extra resistance. So kind of grab a light dumbbell. Don't forget your sweat towel, your drink, and your great attitude. And let's get this thing rocking. Okay, so hopefully you had a chance to grab your dumbbell, your sweat towel, and your great attitude. So we're gonna get warmed up really quickly. We're gonna just start with some step jacks, pushing all the way up. We're just gonna hit that whole body, moving and shaking, a very quick warm up, and then we'll get rocking in our workout. Two more. Last one, and we're gonna go in and pull that butt back. I mean, that leg back all the way to the butt. Open up that chest by squeezing those shoulder blades. Two more. Last one, and we're gonna take that arm and we're gonna drive all the way around and over. Whew. Oh yeah, two more. Last one, and then to the other direction. Right here, drive that around. Whew. Come on, two more. Last one, and then we're gonna go wide here. We're gonna hinge down and then drive it back. Hinge down, drive it back. Whew. We've got two more. Last one. Right here, let's throw our arms right up overhead so we get that nice good upper body extension. Two more. Last one. We're gonna go right here. We're gonna go down and up in that lunge. Two more. Last one, and then down here and straighten. Woo, yeah, two more. Last one, and then right here, inner thigh. Like I said, we're moving and shaking. Really quick warm up. I've attached a longer warm up. If you choose that you need to do that, we'll go down and up. You can pause this, go to that, get your whole body warmed up, or just stick with me for a couple more seconds. Last one, down and up. Woo, yeah. Two more. Last one, right up here. Open and close that chest. Two more. Last one, and we're gonna rock. I'm gonna grab. The first one, we're not gonna actually use any weight. We're gonna take our hands behind our elbows. We're gonna drive our elbow to our knee and crunch. We're gonna go to the other side. Then we're gonna do a cross jack, either a step, or if you wanna really up the ante, you can hop. So it's a knee drive, knee drive, cross, cross, or knee drive, knee drive, cross, cross. I want that whole body crossing. I want you driving that knee all the way over, really getting that nice good crunch. We're gonna work for 40 seconds. We're gonna do it three times. We're gonna get that heart rate up, and that whole body moving. So let's get in position. And here we go in three, two, one. Crunch, crunch, two jacks. Crunch, crunch, jack, jack. You got it. We're getting that heart rate up there. Still kind of, almost kind of part of our warm up by getting that moving and shaking, getting that heart rate up there, using that whole body. Having some fun. <sighs> Told you we're gonna need some fun moves today. <laughs> we will decide if we think they're fun or not. <laughs> Creative, I don't know. <laughs> Here we go, come on. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, short rest break. So I wanna keep that heart rate up there. So we've got two more rounds of that. Are you ready? Here we go in three, two, one. Crunch, crunch, jack it up. Crunch it all the way over. Okay, we can crunch with standing. Drive that knee all the way up. Crunch down, that you don't pull on that neck, but really give me that nice good twist. Get that rectus abdominis by driving and those lower abdominals, driving that together. And then we get those obliques by that twist. Come on, 15 more seconds. Oh yeah, Woo. here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, Woo. one more of those babies. Oh yeah, here we go. Three, two, one, cross, cross. Here we go. Oh yeah, we'll do weights the rest of the time, but I just wanted to use this one as kind of, like I said, 
like adding almost like a little extra longer warm up, getting that movie, that body moving, crossing that midline. Our right and left brain are talking. They're warmed up and saying, I'm ready to roll now. 15 more seconds. Come on, finish strong for me. Here we go. And five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Whew, okay. I'm gonna grab this weight. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that weight. We're gonna squat down. So we're gonna drive those hips back, sitting over those heels. We're gonna touch down. And then we're gonna turn and twist to the one direction. We're gonna squat down, touch, and twist. Now, if you can't get all the way to the ground, I want you to just get low and twist. Low and twist the other side. That's how we're rocking. Are you ready? <laughs> Here we go in three, two, one. Touch down and twist. Touch down and twist. Okay, so we're getting again more obliques. Okay, when we use that long lever arm, our, bat, our core has to work a lot. We're strengthening those legs and that squat. Pushing that range by getting down low. Come on, you got this. And drive through those hips to push that weight to the side. Down and up. Oh yeah, so we're kind of making a cross. We're just not going up overhead on this. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Woo! Yeah, heart rate's still up there, right? We've got two more rounds of that. Okay, roll those shoulders back. Here we go. In three, two, one. Touch down and cross. Touch down and cross. I've got a little bit of a bounce on my step. Getting some energy out. Oh yeah. You notice I didn't get a real heavy weight today. It's enough, heavy enough. We're doing a long lever arms in a lot of our activities. Woo, yeah. Come on, you got this. Halfway there. Touch down and cross. Keep it up. Keep it up. 10 more seconds. Oh, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. One more of those. Whew. Here we go. Roll those shoulders back in three, two, one. Touch down and cross. Oh yeah. So we're gonna have some fun and coordination issues on the next round. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> we're gonna do some around the world fun. Mix it up. Come on, touch down and cross. 15 more seconds. Keep it up, you got this. Oh yeah, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, so this one, we're gonna do around the world around your hips. Now, it's easier if you kind of act like you got a hula hoop. You're gonna go two each direction. You're gonna take it up, you're gonna do two around the neck each direction. Then we're gonna do a figure eight through once, and then reverse it, and then come up for around the world. I know, it's gonna be a lot of coordination, but it's gonna be fun, I promise. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go around the world in three, two, one. Two times around the world, and then reverse it. Oh yeah. Then we're taking that up. We're going around that neck twice, and then reversing it twice. And then we're gonna do a figure eight all the way through, and then we're gonna go and reverse it. Oh yeah. Okay, here we go back. Woo. Two times through, and reverse it. Work those hips. Get it around that neck, work in those shoulders, that full range of motion. And then we're going down and we're doing a nice good figure eight and then reversing it. Oh yeah, three, two, one, and rest. Pull that one by fast, right? We let's do that two more times because <laughs> it's fun. Here we go, three, two, one. We're going around the world twice and then the other direction twice. See how fast that went? <laughs> you're thinking about all your coordination and you didn't even realize how fast that time went. It's reversing it the other direction, it gets hard. You're halfway there. 
Really work those hips when you're going around. All the way around that neck. Get an ink be Use that shoulder range of motion. Almost home. Here we go. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay. One more of that fun. I know, it's so fun. <laughs> Something different is good. Here we go. In three, two, one. We're going around the world twice. And then we're going the other direction twice. Oh, yeah. The whole time my knees are slightly bent. Okay, so I have a lot of mobility from my hip and my trunk. Oh, yeah. Feeling that hula hoop. And then feeling it the other direction. <laughs> Come on. Finish strong. Oh, yeah. Ten more seconds left. You got this. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's have some more fun. This time, we're gonna take the weight in one hand. We're gonna step back. The leg that is stepping back is the leg that, the arm that's gonna be working. So the front leg's gonna be doing a lunge. The other arm's gonna curl, press all the way to the other side, and then you're gonna step back with that side, curl and press, step back. Step back, curl, press it all overhead, okay? I'll walk you through it, you ready? Here we go, three, two, one. Step back, curl, press it overhead. Step back, curl, press it overhead, you got this. Curl, press it all the way around and over. Come on, working that track, keeping it interesting. I know it's kind of a light for curl and press, but we're moving and shaking that whole time. Feeling good, 15 more seconds. Keeping that heart rate up there by a little bit more speed because it's lighter. You got this, come on. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, two more rounds of that, baby. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, step back, curl. Press it on overhead. Down and curl. Press it overhead. Like I said, it's fun today. We're burning calories. We're moving and shaking. We're using that whole body. Very global movements, which is important in burning those calories. A little extra resistance. And we're having fun being creative, doing something different. That's always fun, right? <laughs> Come on. 10 more seconds left. You got this. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Oh yeah. Woo, one more of those, okay? We can do it, I know it. Here we go. <laughs> three, two, one. Step back, curl, press it on overhead. This is it on this one. Did you know we're over halfway down? Yeah, see how fast time's going when we're having fun? <laughs> Yes, I call this fun, because I know I'm getting my body working, I'm moving, I'm shaking, I'm not spending a lot of time. I'm getting in and out done for today. Feeling good. Keep it up, 15 more seconds. You got this, come on. Stay strong. Woo, yeah. Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, <laughs> the next activity, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that weight up overhead. We're gonna either, you can crunch it down with a uh, bent knee or you can make it more challenging with a straight knee. So you're gonna go down one. No, sorry, go down one and then crunch over to that side. Go down on the other side and crunch. Now it's a little easier if you go with a knee bent and then to the side, so you decide. But let's get in position and here we go in three, two, one. So knee drive down, knee drive to the crunch to the side. Knee drive down, knee drive to the side, crunch. Or straight leg on the front and knee on the side. Okay, we're crunching. We're using our abdominals in these movements and keeping our heart rate up there with that resistance of that weight in those long lever arms above our shoulder and out. Come on, only 10 more seconds. 
five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Oh yeah, okay, two more of those. Yes, okay, here we go. Three, two, one, crunch down and crunch the side. Again, it's a little easier. If you have any back discomfort with the straight leg, I need you to bend that knee. Okay, that just means your back either doesn't have enough mobility or stability, okay? So it may not be, your hamstrings may be too tight, pull it on that back, or you may have, your abdominals can't hold that long lever arm in that position, or <laughs> you may have balance issues, okay? That's okay. I need you to adjust so you keep your body safe, but still moving and shaking. Here we go, in five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we're gonna finish out with one more of those. Are you ready? Oh yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's finish here. Come on, then we only have one more activity after this. Oh yeah, woohoo. Come on, keep it up, down, and crunch. Oh yeah, you get a lot of ab work in. Standing, you do not have to be sitting down on the ground. Oh no, halfway there. Keep it up. 15 more seconds. Oh yeah. Here we go, finish strong. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, this is our last activity. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take that dumbbell. We're gonna do a nice Romanian deadlift. That means our knees are gonna stay straight. We're gonna hinge down through our hip. Come on up. Then we're gonna do a nice good little butt lift, right? We're gonna squeeze that glute and lift that leg in that straight position. At the same time, we're gonna put that weight out in that long lever arm. Now, if your body can't do that, keep that weight closer. Okay, and then we're gonna come down and deadlift and we'll lift the other side. Are you ready? Roll your shoulders back. Here we go in three, two, one. Hinge down, come up, lift out with your leg and with your arms. Hinge down and lift. Getting that posterior chain through that. That means that backside, that glute and that hamstring with the deadlift and with the leg lift, plus working those shoulders and abs with the lift on the out of the weight. Challenge accepted, this is it. Again, this bothers your back, keep the weight closer when you lift. Right here. Here we go, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, two more of those, and that's all we got. Then we have a cool down. Here we go. Roll those shoulders back. Three, two, one. Hinge down and lift. Okay, keeping those leg, those knees straight in that lift. Okay, pressing through that hamstring. Your limitation will be your hamstring length when you keep those knees straight. Down and up, just hinging through that hip, and then kicking out. Again, if that bothers you, keep that weight a little bit closer when you lift and kick. You got 15 more seconds. Oh yeah. Come on, keep going. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, last 40 seconds and then we've got to cool down. A really fast cool down. Well, let's rock this. You ready? Three, two, one. Hinge down and kick. Now, I also have a cool down if you want a little bit longer to get that whole body stretched out a little bit more. We're gonna get a really fast cool down, but I do have a longer one attached for you if you wanna do that. Helps with keeping that mobility and also that recovery so you're more likely to show up again tomorrow. Come on, you got this. Halfway there. We're seeing that finish line. I'm feeling like we burned some calories today and also had some fun. Oh yeah. Trying new things, right? <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Drop that weight. We're going into a runner's lunge. We'll lift that weight, those arms up. Push forward. Open up that chest. Oh, I'm getting that hip flexor. Coming down, straighten that front knee. So you get that nice good hamstring. Come on up, grab that foot. Pull back for that nice good 
quad stretch. And then we're gonna stretch to the other side. Keep that back heel straight. Lift up your arms and then open up that chest. And then come on down. Straighten that knee so you get that nice good hamstring to the best of your ability. That direction. Come on up, grab that foot, pull that back. Oh yeah. We're gonna take those hands, we're gonna push out. Really push those shoulder blades out. We're gonna lift on up, pull to the side, pull to the other side. Now high five for rocking that. And have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that workout. If you wanna keep that momentum going, I have a free gift for you. It's my 10 minute slim and fit core routine. This video will help you look better, feel better, and move better. All you need to do is click the first link in the description below, then enter your name and email, and I'll instantly send you one of my favorite core routines. Did you like this video? Then let me know by clicking the like button below. Leave a comment with your favorite part or even ideas for future videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's totally free. All you need to do is click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss one of my future workouts. So let's go get started on that 10 minute slim and fit core routine. I'll see you there and have a great day.